everybody and good morning. It's a wonderful Pi Day 314 and it's also a new Pi Day. Glad to be streaming to you tonight, good morning, telling you all about the new Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. Yes, the Pi Foundation has made something really great, even better with an upgrade. The Raspberry Pi 3B Plus looks a lot like the Raspberry Pi 3 you know, but that plus stands for all the plus extra things that they have added on. They've added a slightly faster processor. They've added slightly faster ethernet. They've even added a modular uh, tin over the Wi-Fi so that it has, has uh, wireless approval, easier for when you're making a product and you want to use the Raspberry Pi in a product. We'll talk about that in more detail. This is what it looks like. Um, we'll go over the details, but overall, it has almost all the exact same components in the exact same location. So it's got those four Ethernet jacks, uh, sorry, the four USB jacks, it's three in the morning. It's four USB jacks, the one Ethernet jack on the right. There's the um, AV slash headphone jack at the bottom. There's a display and camera uh, DSi, CSi connector, standard cab uh, cables for the Raspberry Pi display and the Raspberry Pi camera still work. There's that standard HDMI that does 1080p and has uh, accelerated video. The power section um, to the left of the HDMI, same, use a 2.5 amp, five volt wall adapter to give your Raspberry Pi power. On the left, there's that uh, display connection, the two LEDs right below it, and then above it, you can see that tin. That's the Wi-Fi chip. The Wi-Fi chip actually also got an upgrade. It's now five gigahertz capable. So if you have a, at home, you have a 2.4 gigahertz and a five gigahertz network, you can now bump up that speed to five gigahertz. It's got that cool like chip antenna, the, the PCB antenna that they've had before. And then uh, the two by 20 connector, the GPIO at the top, completely identical. That's the same. And you can see a little bit to the right of the GPIO connector and to the left of the top right USB connector, there's a, a new header that's a POE, POE header for power over ethernet. And we'll chat about that a little bit as well. So where can I get one right now? Right now, who's an approved reseller? I know. You're like, oh my goodness, five gigahertz Wi-Fi, faster ethernet, faster chip. Where can I get one? You want to go to adafruit.com slash new, and you will see the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus sign up or purchase page if we have them in stock, and you'll be able to purchase them at the wonderful low, low price of $35, which is the price of this. Yes, you get more than the Raspberry Pi 3, but it's the same yeah. price. The plus doesn't stand for more money, it just stands for more stuff that you get. All right, to the data sheet. Okay, so we've got this awesome PDF that has a lot of the details. I don't go through it, so all the questions that you have, what really got updated, what can I expect? What's going to work? What's not going to work? I'm going to go through that right now. Here we go. Raspberry Pi 3 Model B Plus. Nice image of it. Okay. So the 3B Plus is going to be running that same 64-bit quad-core processor. It's the BCM2837. This one is slightly faster. It's running at 1.4 gigahertz. Um, another nice thing is the old Raspberry Pi 3 had a uh, plain chip top and you could attach a heat sink. We have some heat sinks in the store that you can use. Um, but to give you a little bit more speed boost, because as it get, heats up, you know, you have to dissipate all that power. The new Raspberry Pi B Plus has a better thermal management. There's this metal top. It'll help dissipate that heat. Or if you're using a heat sink, you'll get even more sinking for your dollar. You, you don't have to use as big of a heat sink because it's, you know, it's <clears throat> got something metal to attach to. Over here, We've got that tin. That tin covers the uh, Broadcom, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi chipset. The Wi-Fi chipset's been updated to five gigahertz, so you can use 2.4 or five gigahertz. It still has the Bluetooth 4.2 BLE stuff, but now it has a tin over it. Talk about that in a little bit. Um, but if in case you're wondering, like, where's the Wi-Fi chip? It's underneath that metal tin. Um, faster ethernet. The chip that runs the Ethernet and the USB ports, it used to be the SMC LAN 9514. It's now the LAN 7515. I looked this up, and this is a USB to uh, Ethernet bridge with the, the hub built in, just like before, but now it can do gigabit Ethernet. Wow. Gigabit Ethernet 
but it doesn't actually have full gigabit ethernet throughput at this time. You do get 300 megabit per second. You don't get that full thousand. It's still three times faster than the uh, Raspberry Pi 300 megabit, but it's not 1000. So just expect that you'll get better performance, but you're not gonna get full gigabit. Um, still have uh, the four USB ports, can't get through it. PoE capability, this is really interesting. So these four pins here, um, you can use a special hat that doesn't exist quite yet, but will really soon. When you plug that in, you'll be able to use the ethernet cable to both do data and power. So you'll have one cable connected to a standard PoE um, switch or hub. We'll be able to power and get data to and from your Raspberry Pi using only a single ethernet cable. A lot of people like that for um, installations, uh, industrial usage. So this is really gonna be great for people who want to um, make permanent installations of their Raspberry Pi for IoT applications. Um, the dual band wireless LAN comes with modulus compliance certification. That's that tin. You have to have a metal tin to get modular certification. That's why a lot of our modules have metal tins on them. Um, and basically what this does is means that if you're using the Raspberry Pi in a final product and you want to take advantage of that wireless capability built in, you don't have to do as much testing. You still have to do some testing, but it's not nearly as difficult because you get to rely on the modular compliance certification. If you're doing this, you probably have people who work in your company or with you that are helping you with this. Let them know and they'll be like, oh, we know what you mean. You don't have to do as many uh, tests. It's not gonna be as expensive or as difficult to get uh, that testing done. The mechanical footprint. So this is important. The overall size, shape, holes, location of all the jacks is identical. Like your ethernet jacks in the same location, the USB jacks, the GPIO, all that's the same. However, there are some cases that have built-in heat sinks. And for those, they might expect the chip to be thinner because it, they're not expecting it to have that metal, that thermal pad on top. So those may not fit. And um, if there's cases that have cutouts or um, that have like inner routing, that are expecting the chips to be in a certain location, those may not work either. So the Adafruit cases that are that don't kind of, they only grip on the very edge, all those will definitely work, but I know there's some cases that have like individual pieces that you stack up or there's a built-in heat sink or there's built-in light pipes, those may not. So if you have one of those cases, just be aware you might have to modify the case or pick up a different case for your Pi 3 Plus. Um, Specs, same chipset, it's just been updated to the B0, running at 1.4 gigahertz, 64-bit, same amount of memory, one gig, uh, gigabyte of RAM. The connectivity, you've got that Wi-Fi, like I said, 2.4 gigahertz, five gigahertz, still has Bluetooth, still has BLE, gigabit ethernet, but only the throughput at 300 megabits per second, still get two, uh, four USB 2.0 ports, same GPIO header, same full HDMI, same DSI port, same CSI port, same AV port, same graphics decoding, micro SD cards in the same location, power's the same, and hopefully soon there will be this uh, PoE hat for the people who want to do PoE. Um, you can get separate PoE devices that like do the power splitting for you, but I, I think with a PoE hat will be great. You'll be able to like pop it right on and then just give Ethernet and you're like, your Raspberry Pi will come to life. Um, so I think the Raspberry Pi Foundation will probably ship that in you know a couple weeks or months. So so stay tuned for that. Um, most accessories are going to work. The only accessories that may not work are just ones that are mechanically looking for a connector or a chip to be in a certain location. Every hat's going to be work the same. Every bond's going to work the same. Every your fat's going to work the same. Add-ons, cobblers, all that is basically identical. You're not going to have any differences between the Pi Three and the Pi 3 Plus. Here's the physical specifications. Um, this shows the location of the tin if you're if you're interested, and that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a nice little upgrade. It's also said they're gonna make it till 2023. Yeah. Big deal, so you can plan the product line around it. So yeah, that's right. They have a production lifetime, so this is interesting. This means that they're, they're very interested in getting, uh, giving reassurances to people who are manufacturing or doing industrial <coughs> IoT, they're like, hey, we need to make sure that if we're going to use this, it has to be in existence for at least five years. Like, we don't want to 
go all in, design it into a product, and then, you know, three months later, uh, Pi's like, ha ha, like, we're no longer making this, we changed everything. So it sounds like they're really stabilizing on the hardware. Um, I think the Gigabit Ethernet's really cool. Uh, that's something that people have been asking for for a while. And uh, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, of course, is really nice. So um, <clears throat> a lovely upgrade. Again, same price as the Raspberry Pi 3. Sign up or purchase at adafruit.com slash new. We're going to get a bunch of these in soon. If you're watching this after the launch, we probably have them in stock, so you can pick some up. So uh, thank you for watching, and that's all you need to know about the Raspberry Pi 3B+. Have a good night, and uh, check out adafruit.com slash new to sign up or get your own.